All right, hello there. Um, I just wanted to make a quick tutorial on how to use Gmod add-ons to extract them and use them into SFM. This will be a very short tutorial. Um, using Gmod add-ons into SFM can be an interesting way to find models that you would not find on the SFM workshop, for instance. In this case, I'm going to use some flute models because I looked up some flute models on the SFM workshop and I did not find what I was looking for, but I did on the Gmod workshop. So this is what I'm going, I'm going to show you today. Uh, first of all, obviously go to the Charismod workshop, then look up whichever model you would like to use. In my case, it's going to be a flute. Um, here is the flute model, or rather the, the page of the flute models. Uh, this is probably the one I'm going to use. To download it, all you have to do is to click subscribe. I'm already subscribed, I'm just going to undo it and then redo it again. And then make sure to launch Gmod so that you can download the add-ons. So to check whether or not the add-on has been downloaded, you can simply click on add-ons right here in the main menu. And as you can see, the add-on is available right here. It's been downloaded. Right, so what we're going to do now is simply close Gmod. We don't need it, we only need it to open it to install the, the add-on we are looking for. Then in Steam, on Steam you're gonna have to right-click Gmod right here. Go to Properties. Uh, click on Installed Files. Then click Browse right here. And so you should find this page on the Windows Explorer. Um, click click on Gary's mod, then double click on add-ons, and here is the list of add-ons you've downloaded. The add-on I wanted to extract was this one. Uh, make sure that it's a .gma file, and wh what we are going to do now is use this program called gmad. I will leave a link to the, the program uh, in the description of the video. So this is fairly simple, simply left click the add-on, and uh, leave it on this, this file, gmat.exe. So as you can see, a folder just appeared, which contains a materials and a models folder. So it's actually that simple. We can actually close this window. And now that we have our, um, our flute pack decompiled, we can now open the SFM folder. So once again, right click here, click on properties, then click on installed files, browse, click, double click on game, and then you can pretty much leave it anywhere you want. Um, I'm going to use the user mod folder. Uh, some people would tell you not to use it. I've always used it. I've ne never had any issues with it, so you can prove, I think, pretty much go ahead and, and use it. <laughs> So once you are in, into the user mod folder, simply select these two folders. You don't need the, this one, I believe. No, I don't think you do. We're going to need these two materials and models. Drag them, release them here. And there we go. Our models are now uh, ready to use in 2SFM. And that's what we are going to check right now. Alright, so we can pretty much just create a new session. And here we are. Our two our flute models are ready to use into SFM. So I guess this proves that uh, it worked. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, if you if you actually if you're actually running into any issue, uh, feel free to send me send a comment or join my Discord server where where I would probably be able to to help you out. Um, with that being said. Thank you for watching and uh, good luck.